Taysom Hill played some major hero ball on Sunday, accounting for four touchdowns as well as recovering a fumble and throwing a key block on the game-winning run by Alvin Kamara. This was arguably the best game of his career, and he was the biggest reason by far that the Saints were able to win this week. With the absence on Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry this week, his impact was much needed, and hopefully the New Orleans Saints are able to incorporate him into the rushing attack going forward, as he is an elite runner of the football. Photo by Chris Grayson slash Giddy Images Geno Smith had another great game against the Saints, throwing for 268 yards and 3 TDs with no interceptions. The Saints pass defense sorely misses Marcus May, and Paul Sinadibo did not have a good afternoon. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett are one of the best duos at WR in the NFL, so it's not entirely inexcusable if they get a couple of big plays, but the Saints provided almost no resistance in the passing game this week. The Saints gave up 4 touchdowns of 35 plus yards this week, 2 of which were over 50 yards. A 50-yard TD to DK Metcalf early in the game and a 35-yard TD to Tyler Lockett with 7 seconds left in the half that wound up costing the Saints the lead at halftime are plays you just can't give up with a defense as good as the Saints. The Saints then burnt away a 12-point lead in the second half on a 40-yard TD to Lockett and a 69-yard run by rookie Kenneth Walker 3. Thankfully, they were able to retake the lead on their next drive but allowing this many big plays is worrisome for the defense. However, here was the best big play of the day. Make sure you follow Canal Street Chronicles on Twitter at Saint CSC, like us on Facebook at Canal Street Chronicles, follow us on Instagram at Saint CSC, and make sure you're subscribed to our new YouTube channel. As always. You can follow me on Twitter at Hayden Reels.